A daring mission is about to begin, the final repair of the Hubble Space Telescope. It's a mission so dangerous that for years, NASA refused even to attempt it. The Hubble Space Telescope. The size of a school bus weighing 12 tons, Hubble is the best known scientific instrument in history. But now, Hubble is failing. Half its science instruments, including the camera that took these pictures, are already dead. Three out of six gyros have died, batteries are getting old, and two science instruments have stopped working. The only hope is to try repairs in space, something no one's ever done before. The spectrograph repair involves removing 117 tiny screws then a cover, then replacing an electronic circuit board. So how do you remove 117 tiny screws that are weightless while wearing clumsy gloves and guarantee that not one floats into the telescope? In space, even one screw floating into Hubble could trash the telescope forever. If these repairs are going to succeed, the tools will have to work flawlessly, manipulate tiny screws. No one has ever done repairs like this in space, and no one's sure they'll work. But can Hubble be saved? There's no guarantee things will work in space. Things will go wrong on orbit. They always do. Seven astronauts put their lives on the line. Good morning, Atlantis. And a special good morning to you today, John. Spacewalk number three includes the hardest job of the entire mission. Fixing the advanced camera entails moving tiny screws. That goes well. So far, so good. Not one screw stripped or lost. Right. Card one is out. <laughs> The next day, it's Mike Massimino's turn, trying to repair the STIS spectrograph. He'll have to install the fastener capture plate, remove over a hundred tiny screws, take off the plate, then replace an electronics card. It ends up going eight hours and two minutes, but they get the job done. The day after the final spacewalk, Hubble is released back into its own orbit. This mission has set a new precedent for the kind of work possible on spacewalks. The stunning new camera. A spectrograph 10 times more sensitive than any before. And two dead instruments revived. Hubble is reborn.